the reason why some of these products aren't working for your hair and you feel like they're too greasy for your hair is because you're putting them on your roots when you don't need them because your hair is naturally going to produce the oils already so they need to be putting on the places where it's the driest and the oldest parts of your hair okay all right now that we done got that out of the way hi everybody welcome back to let's talk tiana today i actually got a video for you all and it's going to be getting us back to the basics of our hair yes i know i feel like everyone's making these videos and they are seem a little redundant but i feel like people still need to know what to do with their hair what are the basic things that you need um how can i make sure my hair stay moisturized just a abundance of different types of things so yes, I'm gonna break it down into three different parts here, okay? Okay, the first topic that I definitely wanna discuss, whew, it's kinda hot in here, so. <laughs> it's kinda hot in here, guys. The first being our this hair propaganda that we have going on between, is that really for ethnic hair, or is that really for straight hair, or is that really for wavy hair? Like, okay, we're gonna just, clear this little propaganda hair propaganda up because one yes there are products that are geared to more ethnic hair aka coily curly kinky type of hair textured hair period just textured hair and all so let's not call it ethnic hair because everyone all different types of cultures have texture hair a lot of different cultures have thick hair whether it be not curly whether it's straight and it's just a lot of hair um, whenever a person have a lot of hair they tend to need a lot of moisture so yes uh, the blacker communities the more cultured communities the Latinas all of them we all try to gear to having products that are more moisturizing mainly for making sure that our hair are, is not drying out or just a lot of masks like we love our masks. so when it comes to your products you want to make sure that you do have a mask you want to make sure that you have a clarifying shampoo you also want to make sure you have something that you know that you can condition detangle and co-wash with throughout the week um there is no, oh, this is gonna make my hair greasy. Oh, um, this is gonna make my hair feel weighed down. No, if you feel like that product is doing that to your hair, maybe you're just applying it the wrong way. Uh, that I, some of my favorite go-to products right now that I'm really, really loving is gonna be my Afog. I love my Afog products. They're super amazing. Um, it has things in it that's gonna help improve elasticity, repair your damaged curls, coils, and waves. So yeah, that product, it just helps your hair snap back. It definitely gives it the protein that it needs. And anybody can use that product. It's not just for curly hair. It's for anybody that needs their hair to bounce back. Anyone that feel like their hair is feeling a little brittle and they need to add a little bit of protein to it to help strengthen it up and moisturize it. Another product that I think that kind of goes uh, for everyone all around is gonna be the Giovanni line. Ugh. Giovanni, y'all did a great job. It's really, really good, actually. Um, they have this one, it's called the Deeper Moisture Conditioner. Um, it's for damaged hair, it contains vegetable protein to soothe dry or damaged hair. It controls frizz and edge shine. Um, I use the Deeper Than Moisture um, Conditioner from Giovanni line, and I use it as my leave-in or my styler, but anybody can use this product. Like, if your hair is straight and you need a deep conditioner, you possibly can use this as a deep conditioner and just leave it in your hair for 30 minutes and then rinse it out and your hair will be so soft. However, when you are applying conditioner to your hair or when you are applying uh, any type of mask or um, co deep conditioner, do not put it on your root if you know that your roots get greasy, okay? Apply it to where you're not getting the, the oils at, to your ends, here, to your ends. Let's just, our tools, okay? So in order to have like really great hair, whatever you wanna call it, really healthy hair, really manageable hair, you have to have great tools. And this, like I said, goes for straight, curly, wavy, whatever. We all need to be using the same thing because we all have hair that we love, that we need a baby and take care of it. Now, if you're Rapunzel and you can just sleep on your hair and wear whatever you like and it'll never break off or it doesn't have any split ends and you never die, then kudos to you. You need to go find another video to watch because this ain't for you. Okay, let's clean it up. Okay. The first thing I want to talk about is what are you drying your hair with? Are you drying it with a towel? Are you um, using a t-shirt or are you using a microfiber towel? Okay. So the best two options you're going to be needing to use is obviously a microfiber towel. 
Okay, the microfiber towel is so, so good to use. It, it doesn't make your hair frizzy. Um, it prom it's promoting less breakage for your ends. Like when you wrap your hair up in a towel, it's so rough on your ends. It just gives you split ends once you wrap your hair up in it. So don't do it unless you're like stuck at a hotel that don't have great towels or you forgot to bring a, a backup t-shirt to use. Don't use towels on your precious, beautiful hair or your hair is just gonna keep breaking off and falling off and then you're just gonna be upset with yourself. The next thing I wanna talk about is what are you using to detangle your hair with in the shower? Some people like to detangle their hair when they get out the shower, when their hair is damp or when they're in the shower and your hair is uh, soaking wet. Whatever you like to do, do whatever makes it easier for your hair type. Now I can't get into the tangling with everybody's hair because everybody's hair is different in that sense. And some people are tender headed. I'm not really tender headed, so I do it both ways. It don't really matter to me. Um, I wanna talk about the types of wide two combs that you all have. Like what do you have? I have one that I keep in the shower hooked up that I use and then I have some that I, I use outside of the shower sometimes when I need to detangle my hair. However, you need to be using a wide two comb. There's no reason why you're still using a red tail comb on your hair breaking it off unless you get onto the doobie salon that that's probably the only time and you have to make sure you know it's all tight and wrapped up and you know it gotta look good the dip oh. anytime i have a shower brush and i have a brush that i use outside of the shower this is those ones that everyone like to talk about that has those little bristles on it just so i don't split my ends and it's really really good when it comes to uh detangling in the shower but i'm really gotta be somewhere and I got it to go, I needed to go really, really fast. The thin brush on the other hand is such a great tool if you have curly or wavy hair. It works on straight hair too when it comes to blow drying. If you're gonna be blow drying your hair, you can use this as a, something to you know blow dry your hair out. It is also heat, uh, heat proof, it won't burn off or since it's rubber, it won't burn or anything like that. But yes, it helps really form your curls. It helps your curls stick together so they look really defined. It just overall is a really good brush, a really great tool if you do know how to use it. So definitely practice using it. It's not a detangler type of brush. I wouldn't use this, this particular brush to detangle my hair unless my hair is already, already detangled before. I would just, you know, run the brush through the next thing I want to talk about is the spray bottle. Get yourself a spray bottle. It don't matter if your hair is straight, curly, wavy, kinky, coily. Everybody uses, I swear, my boyfriend uses mine every day. I'd be like, I swore I filled this up with leave-in conditioner and water yesterday, and it's gone. Don't nobody got time to be sitting under no sink trying to cut the water and put it on our hair and it's and it's you know just there and it's getting in our face and we're like oh my gosh i just did my makeup i just was trying to you know touch up my roots a little bit no get yourself a spray bottle don't know don't nobody got time to be wasting time in the morning trying to dry your face off because your water done got on your face from trying to put it on your ends same thing if your hair is wavy go ahead spray your hair put a little bit of conditioner on your ends Go ahead, liven it up a little bit, but get yourself a spray bottle. I think mine was $2.59 at the beauty supply store. If you don't know what a beauty supply store, put it on Google Maps. It will take you to the closest beauty supply store and you're gonna get yourself a bottle. The next thing I wanna talk about is gonna be the heat tools that you use. Okay, so I personally use this beautiful Chi. Um, I think I was given this a long, long time ago. Um, and it works really well. It doesn't have a lot of settings on it. It's literally hot and less hot and then a cool shot. And that's all it is. However, it gets really, really hot and it definitely does its job when it's time to diffuse my hair or when it's time to straighten my hair, blow it out, whatever. Make sure you invest in really good tools. I mean, you can buy cheap ones. They do work well on your hair. However, they're cheap for a reason. You, you know, you you technically buy what you what you get. You know, you get what you get, you know, when you buy it. So, you know, if you want something cheap in your hair, you expect your hair to be treated luxurious, then I mean, I don't know what to tell you. It's just not, it don't work like that. You know, you gotta spend a little bit of money. The next thing I wanna talk about is your flat iron. Don't, one, don't be flat ironing your hair every day. If you have naturally curly hair or your hair is wavy and your edges get a little bit curly or messed up, it, it's okay, you are gonna be all right, sister. You are gonna be all right. Just l let it live, put a little edge control, edge, edge control on it and you gonna be all right, okay? So my flat iron is the Beliza, wait. 
I don't know if y'all can see that, but my flat iron is gonna be the Beliza, and I love this. I've had this for about seven years now. Um, it's in really good condition, I would think. Um, it goes up to 450 degrees. However, of course, I don't use it on 450 degrees. Um, I only straighten my hair maybe once once a month in the winter time, and then like maybe, maybe four times out of the year. So, I don't flat iron my hair a lot at all. Um, however, when I am flat under my hair, I do make sure that I'm using really, really good styling products. You have to use protective styling products, heat protecting stuff, heat protectant. Make sure you use heat protectant. I know a lot of girls like to say, oh, I don't like to put all that stuff on my hair because it's going to weigh my hair down and make it greasy. Again, with the greasy. Find your stuff some good styling products that's for straight hair. It won't make your hair greasy. Otherwise, it wouldn't say it's for straight hair. Okay, I like to use the Redken Pillow Proof uh, Blow Dry stuff. It's pretty, pretty good. Um, I really love this stuff. And I think I got this from TJ Maxx for $4.99. So, woo, that, that won't break nobody's pockets. You know what I'm saying? And it says that it's gonna really, it's like, it says time saving blow dry primer with heat protectant. So it has heat protectant in it. I also either like to use my BTZ, which is Beyond the Zone. Um, and it's actually an oil base. I feel like if your hair is more of a textured hair, you should really be having an oil base, heat protected, and not a wet one. However, I do have a wet one. It's by Chi, and this is the 44 Iron Guard. And I do use this when my hair is wet. I'll spray this on my hair when it's wet, the Chi, and then I'll go back, and when it's time to flat on my hair, I'll use the Beyond the Zone straight on the, the section that I'm um, flat ironing, just to make sure that my hair is super duper protected and my ends are not burning from, you know, flat ironing my hair. Sorry, y'all. I have to fluff, because my hair, I don't have a shape to it. It's just all the same length, and I definitely need to do something about that, but, you know, I'm not with the whole thing up top that people like to do with all the hair and stuff. You doing your hair, make sure that you're deep conditioning before and after you flat iron your hair because if you're not doing it you're really not protecting your hair you're really not setting it up for the success that it needs to be properly straightened without all the frizz and protecting your beautiful curls waves coils whatever you have for when it's time to go back to being natural so in the oils okay let's let's just let's just let let me just let y'all know a little side note on serums and oils so there is a difference serums sit on top of your hair. They're really meant for styling. So you can put them in your hair when it's wet or you can put them in your hair when it's dry. And it's just, it's basically gonna seal and protect it from the humidity, the moisture in the air. Just really, you know, really work in your hair to where your hair doesn't get frizzy when you flat iron it. Or it doesn't get really frizzy when you wear it curly because I use it during both. So the serum that I like to use is this Zero Frizz Corrective Serum. It's called Schwarz Cough. I don't know what this stuff is called, but I, I received this. My friend gave this to me and I love it. It's a really good serum. However, serums do not moisturize your hair. Let's say it. It do not moisturize your hair. What moisturizes your hair is things like your butters and your oils, which is gonna be your coconut oil. I know I got the, I don't have no lids for this, but oh well. And your shea butter. So make sure you get some of these things if you feel like your hair really needs a little bit of help. Um, the coconut oil is really, really good. It's gonna definitely penetrate your hair shaft and make sure that uh, it gives it all its nutrients and you know, all that good stuff. Blah, 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 blah. You can also use it for your scalp to help promote hair growth as well if you wanna use it as a hot oil treatment. Another thing that I like to use is the Pure Shea Butter. This is also a really, really good oil. Um, once you put it in your hands, let me show you here. You can put it in your hands, just take a little bit of it. Like put it on your hair. And like, like you can put it on your hair and it's just so beautiful. Can't waste the product. I like to put it in the back because my hair's always. Alrighty. I just wanted you all to learn a little bit today about what you should be using in your hair and what you shouldn't be using in your hair and some of the tools that you should buy or invest in. You don't have to get the most expensive hair products or the most expensive hair tools. However, make sure that you're aware of what you are using before you go out and just buy a bunch of junk. And don't get it twisted, okay? Everyone should be using almost the same hair product if you have the same hair type. Meaning, if your hair looks like mine's, you need a lot of moisture. Um, you're gonna need a lot of reconstructive masks. 
all that good stuff. If your hair is more on the wavy straight side, you're still gonna be needing a lot of deep conditioners because just because your hair grows out of your scalp to your ass quickly does not mean that you shouldn't be taking good care of it. Oh, look at that highlight. Okay, let me stop ranting because I feel like I'm just going on a rant and I don't want no one getting offended by my video. But I'm just giving you the tea. So, if y'all love this video, make sure that you uh, like, comment, subscribe, follow, share, you know, tell all your friends about it so they too can learn a little bit about their hair and they too can also learn what they should and shouldn't be doing. So, thank you for watching this video. Uh, I'll see you again here with Let's Shop Tayana.